in three, two, one. All right, welcome back to the Forge Podcast. It is a lovely week this week. We are back with the amazing Duck. How are you, Delson? I'm pretty good. How about you? Doing pretty good, pretty good. Nice, you know, we're on the ninth episode. This is the ninth episode. I'm excited to see where everything goes. All right, got you off when you were going to say? I don't even know what I was going to say at this point. <sighs> I'm going to say something like, well, it's good. Nine's a good number, I think. Let's go with that. <laughs> well, we're here. Uh, we are here. Yeah. We got things. So, what do you have any topics this week? What, what's been on your mind? Well, being someone who plays Elden Ring, um, a lot of people know that there is this very, very um, well-known player called Let Me Solo Her um, regarding to a boss uh, called Millennia, who is the hardest boss in the game. Mm. So I will go in and get summoned um, through the multiplayer, and he will just go and solo her. Now, when you summon uh, a player... It doubles the boss's health. Hmm. What? Real? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So it makes up for the fact that you have two people there. Um, Damn. Now this guy just goes in, no armor except for a pot on his head <laughs> and two katanas. Of course. Of course. And he goes in and he just kills her all on his own. That's all he does. Um, oh damn now as of today when this is being recorded on the uh, on the 10th he's doing his 1000th kill he's going to be live streaming it on his YouTube um, for 1000 summon kills of millennia and that's a pretty big achievement like this guy is popular enough in the community he um he's had people make action figures they've done like little uh you know people have done plenty of drawings of him and people have made joke names as a response to it like let hmm. her solo me <laughs> like let me solo me um there's a lot of people but, trying with it yeah but this guy has successfully um, done this consistently, and that's impressive. He's gonna get his thousandth today, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that that's that's extremely impressive. Damn, hardest boss in the game. You're about to kill it for the first person to kill it almost a thousand times. Yep, yeah, has a summon and it's. That's pretty impressive. I'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely give him that. All right. So I do. I do got some headlines. I. I they're not much. They're not much. Um, Alrighty. This one. This one's kind of funny. I think. Woman gives birth at a Metallica show, as the band plays Enter Sandman. Okay. Then yeah. Yeah, that's a weird one. It's not crazy interesting. I just, I just thought it was like, you know, a pointer, you know. I mean, I don't know what you're doing at a Metallica show when you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. I mean, you're making sure the baby's, like, introduced to the right sort of music. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, people are gonna do what they want to do. I'm not, not judging there. I just think that's weird. Yeah. So iPod. I don't know if you're into Apple products. No. No. Well, for I those pay who are... only like the basic attention to them, like the fact that iPhones exist, and there are Macs, and 
that's pretty much it. Yeah, not well. Uh huh. Just not a big Apple guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I know some people are. I know some people are, obviously. Um, I feel like it's kind of died off at this point. As like the, you know, the Apple hype. I feel like it's died down a little bit. But uh, anyways, so the iPod. Apple has discontinued the last iPod model. I'm I'm assuming they're just done with iPods. That's what it seems. Yeah, After I mean, years. not a lot of people use like MP3s anymore, cause or like anything like that, because you know almost everybody has a cell phone now. So it's like okay, um, yeah. Well, Even the shittiest the of phones from an these iPod days. are on. Um, like, if you have all this stuff from an iPod on an iPhone, why continue to make something that has less value? Than yeah. it when you could, I mean, essentially, all the resources you're putting into the iPod, you can then put into an iPhone and proceed to make more. Uh, yeah. Or even put just all the resources into how to make it better, or even just make it more available to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean,. I th I think it's an interesting choice because yeah, although it will be missed, I feel like the one thing that they should do and it, it might might bring some some buyers a few years down the road because they are ending this just a few years down the road just bring back the oldest iPod, the first generation of iPod. Make it again yeah, and iPod sell it. Classic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like iPod Classic. You know, I mean, like, oh, it's made of all gold, so only rich people are gonna have it. You know, even if they did, I th still think it would be an interesting idea. You know, it'd be a tactic to get more money, because that's clearly what they want. I mean, they even had to end the mini phones, because there was like iPhone minis. I don't even know about those. Yeah, like, there would be... Okay, so there would be the regular iPhone, say, like... Because they're already working on iPhone 14. So iPhone 14, iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro, then there's iPhone 14 Max and iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's so weird. I think just one is, is like, sleeker. Has, I don't know. I don't really know the difference between them. I just know that there's two... Regular sized and two big sized ones. But they also okay. made a mini. They had a, you know, so that it was, it was made out of the cheapest parts. It was half the time they were made out of like refurbished parts, apparently. Um, like, it, it was just a cheaper option of an iPhone. And it was still like $600. No one's going to fucking buy that. I think they knocked it down to 300 at one point, maybe even 200. But still, you can get a better Samsung for $200. Yeah. But like Apple, I just feel like the Apple trend is gonna fall off. It's like if you got less technical knowledge and more money, Apple's definitely going to be the way to go but as for someone like me i prefer um all the uh the samsung stuff just because it's it's easier there's more access to specific settings for apple half the stuff's already like preset mm. like it's you change one thing, it changes like a thousand small things that normally you just have to do manually on a Samsung. Yeah. And I like my phone to be exactly how I want it. Plus, Apple's so much more expensive. Oh, like, I agree. Like, why pay 
however much it is for an iPhone when I could just get a slightly outdated Samsung and know it's still going to run me fine. And it's significantly cheaper. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, that's that. I, I don't know. I love the iPhone because, yeah, it's simplistic. I've always had it. You know, it's what I'm used to. So I'll probably continue to have iPhones for like the rest of my life but you know I might make a switch at one point you know just test it out see what happens um probably just get like a second phone just for the fuck of it if I have the money like yeah. I I've never experienced like an Android or anything like that I don't know how easy it is or hard it is to use that stuff I mean, it's still pretty easy. Like, there's still all the basic accessibility settings and everything. Yeah. Um, but I also just like prefer it because I mean, even some of the smaller things uh, about it. Like, I mean, I used to, I had tried an iPhone once. Yeah. I was just like, it just feels too weird. Like. I just like the feel of Samsung. Like, I stick with Samsung Galaxies. Yeah. And it's, I'll be honest, the uh, the phone themselves, it's, like, pretty much the same. But I notice the biggest thing with the case. And, and I feel like most iPhones with their cases just sort of change exactly how it feels. Yeah. Um. And, I mean, I don't, it's not even like I use social media. I use a phone for a phone. Like, that's it. So it's not like an iPhone's even going to do much for me. Like, congrats, you got a good camera. So, so what? I don't take pictures. I text. And that's about it. Yeah. Fair. I mean, you know, I, I kind of use my phone for, like, watching movies like it's kind of kind of like my tv you know but it's i don't know i've heard people say that iphones well people who use samsung or android or any of that shit they say iphone is clunky would you agree with that statement i mean like with how it feels as a phone yeah um a little bit yeah i know it's like um, uh, I don't like how it's squared edges, and mm. I'll be honest, like, Samsung has switched to, instead of a flat piece of glass for the screen, it's rounded edge. Yeah, it's beveled. Um, and I think that makes a world of difference, because then it allows it to... Like, you can crack an iPhone screen easier because it goes to, like, a 90-degree angle. Yeah. With this, it's significantly harder to crack, and the life's going to last so much longer. Now, it's slightly more expensive to get a screen replacement. Oh, my because, God. Because the glass is just, like, a little bit more. Yeah, it's, but, it's Gorilla Glass, right? That's something like that. But um, it's the fact that it's curved. That makes it more yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, I figured. But it's not a significant amount more expensive. Like, it's if you're buying just the glass, it's like maybe five, ten dollars more. Mm. And mm. if you know how to replace the glass, which is really easy, it's it's a piece of cake. Yeah, I mean, I don't I uh I have to say, iPhone replacements for, like, repairs and shit is ridiculous. I have no. Apple Care for my phone. I have a warranty on my phone, all right? Now, my camera, because I have an iPhone 11, all right? They, I didn't realize this, but iPhone 11s were the ones that were, like, they tend to heat up hotter and faster uh than all the other iPhones. So I just got a little unlucky with that. 
what I didn't realize yeah. was that I mean I didn't know this then, but I was trying to be like a social media manager at at one point, mm-hmm. not just for myself but you know other people, and it literally burned my camera. I can no longer use my front camera because it heat up and melted the circuitry. Oh boy. Yeah. And so the only way to do it is either to replace the phone or get a new screen. Getting a new screen is like apparently so much more expensive than it is to just replace the phone. And replacing the phone with a warranty? With a warranty. So that's already a lot of money. It's a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It it's fucking uh Apple. Apple, they just want money. Yeah. And it's also like didn't Apple do the whole thing where uh you aren't like there's no small retailers who just do those like it has to be like a certified Apple repair man. Did yeah, you, now it, now stuff? it does. Yeah, cuz you need like a a key code or some shit like also here's the thing so people there's been tests i've watched the videos so you can test it for yourself but um you can take the screen you can buy two new iphones very identical iphones the guy bought like like a blue and a red one and you know show the difference took the screen off the red one and put it on the blue one it wouldn't turn on because it's not registered to that phone yeah, which is just that's ridiculous to me. Yeah. So like you need like an Apple code or something. You need like a back door into the Apple programming so that you can repair screens and shit like that. Otherwise, the customer just has to go to an actual Apple store and pay so much more. Yeah. Which just seems stupid to me. It's like, it's you're paying for the piece of technology. You should be able to repair it the way you want. And, I mean, it was made known that the reason they're doing all that isn't to protect the hardware of their company. Like, it's to get more money for the repairs of a phone that they know isn't made super expensive. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah. And that's one of the other reasons I stick with Samsung. It's just like I can replace exactly what I want on it. Like I've already done an entire like back glass replacement on mine because mine got yeah. shattered because of a bad case. Um and that was easy as hell. I haven't had a single problem since and it was easy to get the piece, easy to put in and I didn't have to worry about nothing not working. Cuz I'm pretty sure most of the iPhones now have like sensors in the back screen or like back plating. Um like I think it's like the Apple logo now is yeah. um a button or a sensor that you can end up pressing and it's like okay, well, well I don't have to worry about that. No, I mean the the Apple button? No, I'm pretty sure that's not a that you can make it a thing. That's the thing. So you can still modify your phone. You can jailbreak your phone. You can modify it. You can do whatever. You know, it's just you can never bring it back to an Apple store after that. Like whatever you do to your phone, if you opened up your phone and you're not certified by Apple, technically you're not allowed to bring it back to the store because you're breaking the warranty or whatever at that point. Yeah. Which I, I think is dumb. I feel like you should be able to modify and jailbreak your phone however the fuck you want and still be able to bring it back. Because like, if you jailbreak your phone and something goes wrong, you have to reset that shit before you go to a store. Because if they see it at the store and it's jailbroken, more than likely, they won't help you. Yeah, and it's like, so... I... A denial of service off of like one of those things is one thing. 
Well, like, sorry, voiding a warranty is one thing, but a denial of service is completely separate. Like, I could guarantee if I went into my graphics card and I fully opened the thing and busted the sticker that said, hey, um, like, the warranty is voided if this is broken, it's like, sweet, yeah, I can't get it replaced by a sale by a seller anymore because yeah. I just voided the warranty. If I were to take it to... Um, a place and been like hey i need this repaired it's that's something else you know it's like okay well we'll see what we can do but mm -hmm. oh that's you know, the thing like just they make you trip it. up yourself they make you trip up yourself they, so like they'll ask questions like oh what'd you do to it but so casually to the point that you're gonna say oh i just jailbroke it and something you know like you're gonna admit what you did wrong because they have to be friendly Mm -hmm. and that's how they get you and it's 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 uh manipulative to say the least but you know clearly yeah, it works it down to as a salesperson yeah oh yeah but i mean I like that's the heart know. of mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> man mcdonald's has really gone on a Decline. <laughs> I remember when the dollar menu actually used to have good shit. Oh my god! That's right? Absolutely useless. Remember the uh, uh, what was it called? The um, there was a Frito. It was like a barbecue something Frito. Now that I don't remember, but yeah. I remember like actually being able to get a good amount of food off of a dollar menu. Yeah, you could literally just get ten burgers for ten bucks. Exactly, and now it's barely anything. Mm hmm. Uh, oh well. Everything's just gonna keep getting more and more expensive. Yeah. And then at some point, we're all gonna have to have like vegetable gardens in our backyards. Oh, I mean, I already got that going. I don't. I should probably get that started at some point, just for the fucks of it. I mean, I'm lucky where I'm at. Like, the weather's good all year round, so I don't have to worry too much about, like, hey, you know, I uh, my crops are pretty much going to die, so I have to plant this time. It's more of just a, hey. Make sure you water them. Go ahead. Yeah, it's like, hey, just make sure during, like, the winter they don't actually, like, get any frostbite on them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'll just dip down that cold. Otherwise, it's, you know, it just... Relax, enjoy it. Yeah, well, here, I mean, you gotta watch out. Like, you can't have any crops during the winter. Like, they will die. And during the summer, you best know, you best bet, it's like middle of fucking, like, watermelon season, kind of. Yeah. Like, you don't really, you know, it's hard to grow crops. Because, I mean, even right now, it's not supposed to be this cold. Like, it's a 40, 45 degree day, maybe even 50, 60, I don't know. It's it's a down there, but it should be in like the 70s, 80s right now. Yeah. Fucking global warming, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like even out here, it's been colder than it's supposed to. Which is Which is not good. Yeah, I mean, like for us, it really should be around 80s um for us but you know we we've been in the high 60s low 70s for the past couple weeks yeah yeah which is a lot colder than i'd like it to be because i mean man i actually really like the the warmth so you like summer um not entirely because i mean out here, summer entails 110 degree weather at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, like a nice spring weather isn't bad. But 80s, here, 90s, spring, like yeah, that's spring out here, mm. which is pretty much summer most anywhere else. But nah, it gets really hot here, honestly. Because I mean, you have to think I'm on an island, so. You know, although there is a lot of wind that travels through the city, that's what keeps that cool in the city. But us, we're on an 
island, so we got a bubble, like a uh, air bubble, essentially around us. You know? Yeah. Like hot and cold fronts hitting each other above the island, and you know, kind of, it's like, think of a magnifying glass on ants. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what it is. It just. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it gets hotter. Sometimes, I know it's gotten extremely hot before. I think it's gotten into the 110s, but I know it's at least been 110. Like, we get one week. One week during the summer, that's the heat wave. We call it the heat wave week. Because it just comes through and then goes by, you know. Man, uh-huh. that's just entirely summer. We'll get like two months of just 110 degree weather. Damn. Yeah, thankfully we don't have to completely deal with that all the time. Sometimes it has gone like two weeks, but no more than that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's that's just how weather is. It's trippy. I hate it. I just wish <laughs> it could be like a nice 70, 80 degrees all year round. That'd be perfect. Oh yeah, I'd be very happy with that. I just, I just, I've been doing walks every day. I've been trying to relax, you know, just enjoy the weather while it's here. Dude, I used to go on walks. Now walking more than five feet is just fucking it. <laughs> you say that like walking died. You say. That. Yeah, man, I uh, I used to go on walks. I uh, I miss him very much. You know, he's been dead for a few years now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, yeah, my my ability to keep up with walking and keeping myself fit long gone. I have a memorial in the backyard <laughs> you know, next to the compost pile. Like it's you got a shrine. Gone. Dedicated to your shoes for walking, your walking shoes. It's like all all the effort, all the care to actually go walking, just gone. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I truly do. That's why, like, it took me a while to get around to it. It's been a few years, and now I'm getting back to, like, going at it. I've been walking every day for the past few days. You know, I'm getting it done. I mean, I have no doubt there's going to be a day. You know, I'm probably going to have to take a day to crash, but I'll be alright. I mean, like, a good walk every day is, like, a really good practice. I mean, I think the hardest part is the first, like, couple weeks after that. Your body's, like, getting used to it. Mm. But, I mean, it's as long as you can get yourself going for the first couple weeks, like, you get set. Yeah, yeah. Well. Huh? Huh? What were you going to say? Was I gonna say something? I don't know. You sounded like you were gonna say something. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. All right. Okay. You sure? Pretty sure. All right. As sure as I can be. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's twelve thirty. I'm barely awake. You know, it's just how That's it fair. goes. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <All righty then. laughs> all right so um i do have a topic there's a small topic i i you know i asked my girlfriend for topics and she just never got back to me it's all right it's all right she did her best she was thinking he thought hard i i think i'm sure oh i got a I got a real quick one what's up um, do you know about the Muffin Prop Man? Hunt? Oh, <laughs> no, no, uh, Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt? Yeah, Prop Hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about it? So, okay. Um, so there's this game that uh is, it's not technically out yet, but um, I think I might know what you're talking released. about. It is called Midnight Ghost Hunt. Sounds familiar. Um, and it's it's like prop hunt. So uh yeah. and prop hunt is like you you would be 
it wouldn't make much sense as to well you understood why like a fridge would be moving in front of you oh because of course it's another player um but in this it's you have ghost hunters and then you have your ghost and hmm. the ghosts go and possess items and sometimes it's not always a person that's you know as this item running in front of you like it's you know it's just a ghost but uh you would just go hunt them and once they're uh they're hunted yeah if you haven't killed all the ghosts by midnight they can turn evil well like they oh yeah i think i've heard about this yeah Um, yeah but like they're they're able to kill you anyways as like the ghost hunter but um it's easier once it hits midnight Oh. and so like the ghosts get empowered and i think some of them are allowed to respawn and you know they try to kill the ghost hunters but if you can kill all the ghosts before they kill all the hunters you know you're set Damn. you win so each chan- each side actually has a fighting chance instead of just hide and seek that that makes total sense i i, I feel like that would be awesome to play i i hope uh it gets on like playstation and stuff like I know on Steam right now it's twenty bucks. Oh damn. Um, uh, but it is also as a pre release game. So, you know, Steam has lots of games that are still like being developed. Um, oh yeah, always. But it definitely seems very fun. I mean it's like twenty bucks. I know if I had the money to go ahead and get it, I would definitely be picking it up. Um uh, and convincing plenty of others to pick it up but i mean you know it's one of those things if you can't afford it don't tell anyone else they should get it oh yeah um, exactly but it's like it seems like it'd be a fun group game because you know it's it's prop hunt but one you don't have to download any extra things for it uh like you know counter-strike source and uh all the uh whatever you call it although like dev games packs to be able to uh you know get all the skins and textures that you need for it and then gmod and all that stuff mm, yeah yeah yeah. seems like it's gonna be a hell of a game i'm very <laughs> excited for it that does it does seem interesting i would definitely play it i, I mean i don't have the money for it but i would definitely play it if i had it yeah or if you had a, you know, decent enough computer to run it. Shut up. <laughs> you know damn well I'm running on half a wheel here. Uh, you know, though, so the Steam Deck, I've seen some pretty decent things about it already. Yeah. Um. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the best. I mean, it's technically a handheld, compu- hand-held gaming computer. Oh, yeah, but, uh, that one... It's as for like affordability, I don't think it's that bad. Like, how much I mean, is it? Obviously, it's four hundred dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, that's I guess that's reasonable for it being a portable computer. And I mean, something that's like even able to run some of the newer games, like you know, it can run Elden Ring. Like, you want to know what's that- funny? This like this device is gonna be like ten bucks. In like a hundred years, it's not even gonna. <laughs> yeah, people are gonna, you know, have the optical implants for like yeah. Steam, and it's like, ugh, who would pay like this much for this thing? Like we have, you know, games in our heads, literally. Yeah. Why? Why would you pay ten bucks for a tablet when you got a gaming device in your skull? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it sounds awesome, and I would love to get it. I mean, that's definitely gonna be like put some money aside, but. I need to get a I mean, place it's first. probably better than um getting a you know, an entire gaming computer. Oh yeah. So like how does it work? Do you need a computer for it or do you just use it? No, so it's it's kind of like imagine a Nintendo Switch but it runs Steam's it runs Steam games. Hmm. Like that's pretty much it. It's actually it's perfect. It's a handheld like Steam console. 
Uh, can you like plug Ethernet into it, or like does it just go off Wi-Fi? How does it work? Um, well, I'm guessing I don't know too much about it. I've only oh, okay. seen you know how it looks on the Steam ads. Oh yeah. But you know it's it's literally a handheld gaming like a Steam console, pretty much. That's it. So it's like you know games that run off of Steam. You know you can play on that. Hmm. Um, and I mean, you know, the reviews haven't been too bad. Plus, you can uh, you can modify it too, because you know I believe it's got expandable storage and other things with Ooh. it. So it's like, okay, why not go ahead and exactly get it and see what you can do to it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it'd definitely be something where it's, like, you know, especially good for travel. Like, if you've only got, like, a gaming computer and you, uh, like, not even a laptop, just a full PC built, it'd definitely be something probably worth it to pick up. Yeah, I mean, that's, I could literally just carry that shit in my backpack, and if I go on break on work, I could just start playing games, hop on some Destiny you're like, hey guys, let's do a quick raid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like... That it's, would be hilarious. It's about the same size as like a Switch. It's, you know, something where it's like, you you got a hoodie pocket, go ahead and just put that in there. Yeah, I mean, I imagine, I, re I truly imagine that it's going to, like, be able to, you know, uh, connect with, like, Roku TVs or something. It's got to. It's gotta have like I mean, an it's app for that. Probably got a dock or something that you can yeah. place it down on, but it's meant to be like a handheld thing. Mm. Like on a Switch, how its uh controllers slide off of it. It's the um the uh oh the, the controllers Steam Deck on doesn't it. have that. No. I uh, yeah, it's connected to it. It is. Oh one okay. Piece. I was gonna yeah, say. It does not have um. The pieces come off of it like a switch does. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I would love that. That, would, that seems like fun. It does. I'd be very happy with uh, one of those. You know, it gives me a chance to continue to play Elden Ring wherever it is that I'm at. Mm hmm. You know, get upset at everything everywhere as per usual. <laughs> but yeah anyway so let's go ahead and go to whatever topic it is you had oh yeah 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 so fifa fifa right mm -hmm. you know it's always been with ea and um sorry no, fifa is splitting with ea Okay. That's definitely a decision. Do you do you just have the headline or you got any other information about it? Well, that I mean that's really the headline. So the headline is uh from IGN, all right? I got this on off Twitter. The FIFA series will officially change its name to um EA Sports FC. After this year's FIFA 23, ending a three-decade-long partnership with football's governing body. Huh. Yeah. This is definitely a choice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big-ass change. Now, I've never played much of FIFA. I'm not too big on sports games. Um. Mm. Now... I got a couple siblings who do play it. Um, and then my dad plays some FIFA too. But uh, I've never seen the appeal to them. Like, it's... Mm, yeah. So, I'm reading up on it. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll get on that. But, um... So, I'm reading this. And it's saying... Previous reports have suggested that FIFA wants to charge EA $1 billion every four years just to use the FIFA name. So, 
EA is taking the game, not FIFA. I thought it was going to be FIFA taking the game. Apparently, it's EA. EA is taking the game back, <laughs> but FIFA wants one billion. I mean, I don't know if that's fair or like too little. Because I mean, it's, it's FIFA. like when you say FIFA, everyone's gonna know what you mean. Exactly. So it sort of like with Apple, you know, the name is worth a ton. Like, mm -hmm. if you think about the net worth of FIFA, you're thinking about the name that goes with it, not the product. Anyone can yeah, yeah. the product. You're going with a name, the brand. Um, and, you know, it's as long as it's got that FIFA title slapped on it, as long as it's similar to the FIFA games, like, people know what they're getting. Like, it... It's that brand, sort of like with Apple, you know, it's you go ahead, you use that title, you know what you're paying for. You're paying for the name, not the uh, not necessarily the item you're getting with it. Now, that's like the biggest thing with it. Yeah. So personally, it's I don't know how much the net worth of you know, the whole EA FIFA situation is, and it's like, okay, well, you want them to continue to use it, you better be willing to pay, you know, like, at least half of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I I don't know. That's That's an interesting one, in my opinion. Apparently, uh, FIFA had a bunch of corruption scandals at one point. Um, well, that's fun. Yeah. I mean, it's FIFA, you know, there's probably a lot of money there. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, truly. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that that was just my topic. I feel like that's very important to talk about. Um, but you said, like, getting into it with sports and stuff and... I mean, I, I was always in a soccer. I was always in a soccer and basketball. So it was, occasionally I had a little bit of like, let me let me play some baseball. But I wasn't really into that whole, oh, I'm going to run it around a diamond for a living. Nah, that, that, that didn't sit right with me. <laughs> I feel that. Like, I did some stuff with sports. Like, I had played hockey. I had played soccer. I didn't done a bit of football but and then there's even that whole like aspect of people who watch sports and people who play sports and then people who play games of sports it's mm -hmm. like i just i can't understand that bit like i i understand playing them and you know being involved with all that but i just can't understand the whole like you know watching it and all that. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel the same. Sometimes, although I do keep like 2K or something downloaded on my system, just because like I might get, I might smoke too too much weed. You know, I might smoke smoke too much, get a little high, and be like, you know what? Let me sit down. <laughs> And make the computer play against itself and see what happens. I'll just put two teams up and then turn the controller off and let it play. And just watch watch a fake-ass game that never even happened or probably has happened. Yeah, and just see what the computer can figure out. I mean, you know, it lets you see the AI. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's my point of it. But yeah, watching that stuff... I mean, I feel like going to baseball games or going like a soccer, you know, but going to a sports game is more of the interaction with people. And I think that's why people watch it and play it. Because more often than not, in like 2K, you're going to be playing up against someone or like a whole group of people because there's like online now. I, I mean, I know that's been out for a while, but still, you know even with FIFA or 
MBL or LMB, whatever it's called. I I don't I've never played it, so anyways. You know, there's gonna be people that wanna play with other people. So I kinda yeah. get it. I'm just not on board. You know, I'm not on board with all of it. Because I'm just not the same. Yeah, it just doesn't suit your fancy. And it's yeah. like, I got a lot of people who, um, you know, are in the same sort of boat as me where it's like, you know, I just don't understand it. And it's like, yeah, that, that makes sense. Because, I mean, it's, it's something people don't see. Like, I, I'm one where it's, I did sports as a way to stay fit. Um, not like a way of, hey, this is something I super enjoy doing all of the time. So like I can see myself watching it or playing it and all that. It's like it just. It just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can agree there. I can agree there. No, I mean. Oh, no. I kind of feel the same way about, like, horror games, all right? Like, I don't mind, you know, little jump scares here and there, but, like, Outlast or something like that. Something, like, truly to keep you on edge. I don't understand that. Why are you going to... I understand watching scary movies because that's, you know, directed by someone. You know, it's a movie. We've all seen them actively going into a situation where you know you are going to be terrified and making yourself scared and possibly cry or shit yourself I don't understand it that's why I don't like haunted houses it's not even because I would get scared easily it's just it doesn't make sense to me <laughs> so what I'm hearing is you are scared of it I am scared of it. That is a that is a reason, but it's not the whole reason. It just doesn't make sense to get yourself scared. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, although it does scare me, I still don't understand why someone would want to scare themselves. So, okay. For me it's I don't really get scared in real life. Um like it's with my whole like you know, fight or flight, I, I just turn out into the fight like people have tried to scare me i've ended up accidentally punching them in the face like they <laughs> i mean kind of had that coming uh mm -hmm. but uh it's like video games will scare the shit out of me if i play a spooky one and i love it i don't know why i love it but it's something about the like instant hey i'm absolutely terrified but at the same time you know, you don't really get too much of a feeling like it. It's it's pretty fun. I mean, it's like skydiving or being with someone who, uh, like, if you're not used to it, being in a car with someone who knows how to drift really well. You know, they'll pull off things that, you know, you don't think anyone would really be able to do. And it's, you know, it happens. You get scared. Yeah. And then you... uh you end up realizing that it was really fun because yeah. it gave you an exhilarating experience that you're probably not going to get and feel for quite a while. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess the, I do watch horror movies just for fun, mainly because I love yelling at the characters to stop being dumb, if that makes sense. No, yeah, I completely agree. Like I, I'm that person. I'm that person. If we if we sat down and watched a horror movie together, I'm going to be yelling at the dumbass people on the screen. Don't open yeah. the door. Stop. What are you doing? Get away. No. 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 You already know what's behind that door. It's going to ki stop. And she opened the door. Fuck. Yep. All hell breaks loose. Yeah, it's like, don't touch the ancient piece of jewelry in the tomb. You know what's going to happen. Such as it anyway. Tell, tell me why, more often than not, it is a white female that... 
is opening the door and being consumed by a demon. I don't... I don't understand these choices. I just think it's comedic at this point. I mean, it's like, and almost every single time, at the end of it, the white girl's <laughs> usually the one who survives. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gets possessed and then survives and leaves everyone else dead. Exactly. It's like, come on. I, it, I hate to say this, but it's always the black guy first and the white girl last. It's... It's it's very fucked up. It is. I just want to see these people like you know do something different with it, right? Now a horror movie where everyone dies those those aren't too bad. I'll be honest. Or like you know a movie where um the villains win. Those are always like those catch people off guard and mm. those are pretty amusing. Yeah. I, I kind of liked the Insidious series. It was my first, like, it was my first uh, opening to horror movies. Okay. Insidious, I, uh, yeah, that was a terrifying one. <laughs> I don't really remember if I had, I'm pretty sure I've seen it, but I honestly can't even remember half the, like, horror movies I've watched, because it's like, they're just so similar yeah yeah it's like you know ghost does this ghost does that you know it's like scares the shit out of some people you know exactly exactly yeah i mean all right i i i will have to say there are a few of them i i have like genuinely enjoyed like the there was a lazarus I think that's the what Lazarus it was called. Effect? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the best production, I'll say that. But it was good. It was a good story. I liked it. I enjoyed the ride that it gave, you know. Thought it was funny that uh Donald Glover was in there. <laughs> Love Donald Glover. Yeah, you know, he's an amazing one of, man. One of the uh horror movies which I remember when it had came out and I had meant to watch it but never did. This came out when I was in middle school still. Um, Annabelle. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. I remember all my friends were like, oh, it was so good. Now, obviously, you know, we were in middle school. We had no idea what the fuck we were talking about, mm -hmm. um, about for anything, but I had still wanted to see it so badly and then just never got around to it, and I've still never seen it. Yeah. You know what's funny? People don't <laughs> people really don't think that the Amityville house is real. Like that whole I, that whole scenario. I can see that. Yeah. It's real. It, I've been over there. I've seen the place. It's terrifying. You can go no. there and and just look at the house and sometimes you'll see a figure in the window. No one lives I... there. It's closed off. Uh, uh, yeah, I can understand why. Like, it's yeah. one of those things where it's like, you know, um, e and even if it was on the market, it'd sell for millions because of how <laughs> famous it was. Oh, yeah. And it'd be something where it's, you know, if somebody did own it, there's nothing stopping them from, um, you know, making it a tourist attraction. Exactly. But, you know, if they did that, it'd obviously have to be something where they're like, look, we are not responsible for any, like, thing that happens to you inside of this house. Yeah, you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement or something. It'd be one of those um, liability waivers. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, non an NDA is one of those things where it's like, hey, oh, you right, I got it. Yeah, I got this. it mixed up. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. those people, like those YouTubers who, uh, you know, get to see a game before it comes out and play all that stuff. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. one of those. But yeah, I mean, the Amityville house, it's it's fucking creepy. Like, I know some people don't want to believe in that stuff, but like, trust me. You go there, you you go and start believing. When I was younger, one of my favorite things to do was um I had actually been up around New York, uh upstate and uh 
you may be able to tell where this one is going. A very famous graveyard. Um, <laughs> a very small town. Sleepy Hollow, you know. It's, oh, of course. Yeah, you know, it's managed to go out there, hang out, sneak into the graveyard. That was a fun time. Um, but, you know, all we really did was, you know, just sort of imagine we saw things scare yeah. ourselves scare each other you know that sort of whole thing because you know it's like if you don't see anything you're gonna at least try and make it memorable even if you're not meaning to it's one of those things where it's you know spook yourselves and then people just sort of go along with it yeah 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 exactly i mean i i've never done anything like that I haven't gone out to a graveyard or nothing, but I, like I said, I have been to the Amityville house. I've been to like several supposedly haunted places. I mean, I've never really seen much. I mean, it's gory, but I've seen like a, a, a potentially what was a ghost that took its own head off, like kind of like nearly headless Nick. From Harry Potter series, but oh, completely, yeah, oh. yeah, just completely. And that's like pretty much what happened. Just took the head off. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know how to react. I didn't know. I just, I just left that situation alone. I never went back to it. I kind of just like let myself forget about it. But we were like talking about all this, and I was like, oh yeah, that happened once. That that happened once. Yeah, that's definitely a thing I, that uh, I could see sticking in um in your memory. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause I, <laughs> I think I was like eight when I saw this. So like, I still had some kind of conscience. I'm not like just spewing shit out of my mouth just for the fuck of it. I definitely saw something, but yeah. it could have easily been a teenager or something fucking around in the house. You know, because, like, yeah. it was on the second story of an abandoned house. So, you know, it could have been real, or it could have just been some teenagers fucking around. I don't know. Yeah. But like you said, I mean, like, ghost does this, ghost does that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's... It's like going into the woods with your friends and just thinking you're seeing like a figure or something and then you know you all freak out and just go run and it's like you know reality is it's probably just a tree shaped funky but oh well you're having fun right yeah you ever use one of those like um fake guns with like the poppers oh yeah 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 those like little uh red rings with like the little like bits of gunpowder in them yeah yeah, yeah. Does ups. yeah i used to use those all the time yeah so i i hate that i have to reveal this this is being revealed now so i was in boy scouts for a time ah. yeah <laughs> i was in boy scouts for a time it was not it wasn't the best i, didn't, I will say that I, i'm pretty sure they were just just white people not realizing they were just laundering money like i think that's pretty much all it was but anyways um and we took a trip to gettysburg all right and you know we did all that shit there we did all like the whole boy scout stuff you know take a walk take hikes whatever learn about everything but at night all right it was creepy Okay, so we, we had our tents in a circle, like a big-ass circle around, like, a giant campfire. So, like, a, a big-ass bonfire. Um, and it was the middle of the night, and I wake up to a horse outside of my tent, all right? And I'm like, no... That's not a bear. That can't be a bear. That can't be nothing. I'm, I'm not down for this shit, all right? I am ready to fucking run. I'm, I'm just... ready to 
Fuck the horse. No, Fuck no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just ready to bolt out of there, all right? I'm, like, in my mind, I'm already gone. I'm not even there anymore. My body's still in the tent. My soul is somewhere else. <laughs> Fucking, so... I, just, I sit there for a second. I'm trying to, like, you know, maybe maybe it was just, you know, me waking up from something. And I I took a sound from my dream or nightmare, whatever it could have been, put it in real life. You know, I yeah. thought I was having, like, auditory hallucinations. But, mm-hmm. in fact, I was not. There was... I, I couldn't see anything, okay? So, you know, I'm still in my tent. I couldn't see anything. But there was indeed a horse outside of my tent there was a shadow on my tent of a horse and a guy on top now tell me why when i open the tent i zip open the tent nothing is there and the shadow is still there and then just dissipated like nothing happened now, what's the funny thing is that I wasn't the only one that caught this. Because a- apparently there was two other kids just practically pissing themselves. Like, w- looking at this. And hearing the noises. And I'm just standing there like, Hey, you guys alright? <laughs> and I just acted like I saw nothing! <laughs> and like they were tripping out. So to this day, they probably think that that never happened, but it actually did. Like, I, I was, like, freaked the fuck out. Oh, my God. There was a... <laughs> just let these poor kids think that just, like, nothing's going on. Just like, oh, what's up? You yeah, know, what's like, up? Why why are you guys up? You guys good? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got a little, uh... You yeah, got a little stuff on your pants. Their lives. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little stuff on your pants. I'm like, I, you gotta, you gotta go change. You gotta... <laughs> Do you need to see a nurse? Like, what's going on? <laughs> God. Look, I know it's embarrassing. We all have performance issues, but you can't do oh that on God. your pants. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I did fuck with them a little, just to, like, lighten the mood, because I didn't, like, I saw how scared they were. I just wanted to make them think, like, it wasn't real. I, I was smart enough to be like, okay, they're they're clearly scared out of their minds. Let me let me put them at ease. Feel that? Like I was terrified to my core, but I didn't show it. I I still to this day I cannot explain what happened. I can't. That's not an explainable thing. I'm not saying I believe it. It could have just been, you know. Me being like half awake, but when there's two other kids staring at a shadow on my tent, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was real. Look, they laced your Capri Suns with acid, and it's a shared hallucination. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. I mean, that would be yeah, wrong. hilarious. Dragon kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wrong, but I mean, you know. In a fucked up way. That'd be funny. I can see the humor. Yeah. I've seen Deadpool. I can see the the dark humor from that. Yeah, it'll give an enjoyable experience for the people who aren't on the drugs. Exactly. (laughs) Oh my god, look at them. Look at them. No, there they go. Oh my god, they're seeing shit. Oh my, did that kid just piss himself? Oh no, we gotta... Do we stop this? What do we do? Stop and film it. Oh no, nah, that's wrong. That, that's even more wrong. I would, I would just like, let that one be. I would, if that was me, I would just be like, oh hell nah, nah. I was just gonna fade into the background, let them go back in their tents, and we'll just all act like it never happened. And that's what exactly what probably happened. You know, I bet you there was probably an adult or two that saw it too, but I'm I'm not not I'm not too sure. Uh, if they did see it, they probably didn't say anything. Yeah. 
you know, because the second the adult shows any like fear or concern, you know, it's like the kids will too. Yeah, and that that's why I was staying strong about it for the little kids when it was like didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we got some stories in the day. Do you have Do you have anything else on your plate you want to talk about? Or anything on your mind you need to get off your chest? No, I think I'm good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that has been episode nine of the Forge Podcast. It has been lovely talking to you, Delson. It's been lovely to be here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So, we will catch you next week. Don't know who's going to be on. That'll be a surprise. Love you. Miss you. Bye. (laughs)